ibo ma na ege nti eke na emu unu asiri mko echiri azelo once again good morning good afternoon good night depends the time you are joining us at this afternoon news update and as soon once again welcome to eastern news 24 a home of the afflan news update ngwa na ka bopo ni oso ni ya we no bo si keta no na no ko si ada ke na ada no ku ife aku ye na afu zo ke na ada ni ife aku ye na afu zo ogu ada la o oyo bu na zo isi owe a alright um according to our blogger or the one of our blogger kema the audio na ji nu gbo a o wi for one of our blogger ku it really touches me so much do not betray onye nduma azim na nu ka nu is our savior for Christ's sake because of him you are not in idp camp what i need kuna ku mebe id idp camp ku mebe o ke mele ndi bai awa ta mi na eme ndi igbo awa ta mi na eme ndi igbo igbo bi igbo gini na eme na ai ka ti ko nu no wa yo no unite ya no liberate ourselves from zoo called nigeria ka le ka ti ko nu no wa yo no liberate ourselves see let me tell let me tell, let me shock you people if i was a fellow and i fire me wa yo the only problem my well the ibo ourselves is only problem we have and the naju ole mbe ka ege megide ni ya ole mbe ka ega na eme ni ya for how many years and igbo man na dey kwe kwe kemo ye kwete na nka ikwudu o si kwete na nka ogwudu ki ebu the problem ni gudi nduru olu mazi odogu commander no mesi na anu mazi na ndi ka anu mazi samon ekpa to liberate the people of biafra kai ti konu no wa ayo onu bo bo igbo ogini ogini all right um just listen to the audio clip of our of our brother one of our own then don't forget to leave us with your own comment on the comment section below all right over to you one name madam don't antagonize a pop leader nam de khan he is your savior the banjo tells dear friends hello viewers welcome to my channel according to the news of today which i believe we have not forgotten how are the banjo told ndibo to respect her i probably the master nam de khan how they told dear friends both the so-called leaders never that organize as them they can but the same people that call themselves leaders whereas they are failures and killers contributed in his kidnap until date they have refused to do the nephew by telling the world the truth the atrocities of british government that they collaborated together with even with what has happened in our land the atrocities they have committed in our land the killing and the maiming and everything this governor has refused to stand by the right path to say the truth what they have committed and what this government pushed them to do for them they have arrived for them they have kidnapped nam de kano for them they have succeeded in kidnapping him but the question is ever since they kidnapped him is their state the same state that they we are so jealous of god the same state that they plan to guard jealously is the same state that different atrocities has continued to happen both in most state and the boy state 
This man, for Christ's sake, sold Mars and Nam Kano. They made their plans, and his sweat about was leaked. And the next thing they did was waited for him and kidnapped him. And they have never accept the atrocities they committed and change for good. Rather, they continue to do more. They continue to commit more. They continue to destroy the children of Chukabia. Look at her brothers and sisters everywhere in prison yard. Look at a small girl like Hedra Good. Do you know how many of our guests who are in the hand of DSS? Some of them are being raped. I have not forgotten how the military raped our sisters with one pint. The several months. These are people who are supposed to be protecting the people. These are people who are supposed to be standing with those who are freedom people, who are freedom fighters. After all, it is enshrined United Nations chapter. So what do you expect? Even the so-called United Nations has not done anything great to prove that those things are shrine in their chapter. They have not done anything great to call Nigerian government to order to listen to the canon. They only made pronouncement. And to date, that time has passed. Why the hell is he still in DSS custody? This is to tell you that everybody is biased. I'm coming for them soon. Like I said, I will never stop until they have to think and understand, understood that they have not done anything tangible about Mazen Namde Kano, illegal kidnap from Kenya. about British government who has refused to sue Kenya government for the atrocities they committed in kidnapping their son and handed him over to Nigerian government. Or is it the so-called Nigerian government who went to Kenya and kidnapped Namde Khan and he did both Kenya, both Nigerian government and all saying where they kidnapped him from. Kenya later agreed that he was in Kenya but the government claimed they don't know how he left Kenya, how he was kidnapped. A country where we have different officials, soldiers, police in that same Kenya. Is this not some people playing game against some indigenous people because they believe that they are the light of Africa? Because they believe that when they shine, Africa will regain their power from the hands of these colonial masters. Because they believe that Biafra is the only remedy of Africans to make a better African country. This is why they kidnap him. I was surprised that British government and their law, law firms, the judiciary has the audacity to say that Nande can be in danger if he is, if the, the advocate for his lead. It is not madness. And they are so called Katrina Lang. A short Mapuka woman 
is busy. Parading everywhere in Nigeria. Wherever he, she goes, there must be Wahala there. She went to Wike, there was a massacre. She went to Bolaknibu, there was a massacre. She went to uh, uh, New Nyan State Governor. There was more massacre. But we don't even know how they were killed. Our own brothers and sisters. Time has come. All these Sibo governors have to account for us. How they plan with the British government to kidnap Nandekar and brought him back to Nigeria. Otherwise, they are going to see us do something that they will not understand. We can't continue like this. Our leader cannot continue to suffer in DSS custody in the hands of criminals like DSS, in the hands of criminals like Nigerian DSS. Why they continue to arrest innocent IPUBs here and there? They are not they are not prescribed in anywhere in the world. But with the backyard prosecution, British government planned with the Nigerian government to date, our people has continued to be taken away and so much money is paying to release them. Something is going to happen. But I think I've come to the end of this news. Jay Piafra.